Welcome to Slime Rancher, the game where you take care of these happy little balls of goo in exchange for plorts relating to every kind of slime you can find in the game. You can then sell these plorts to get new bucks, the in-game currency. New bucks are then used to purchase upgrades, expansions, and gadgets to make your life easier. There's also the exploration aspect of Slime Rancher, where you leave your ranch to go find new slimes, items, and bits of the game's story. Now, I've been playing Slime Rancher since it was still in development, when you would find barricades claiming the area beyond was still being built, and there was no relax mode without the tar. And yes, this peaceful game about cute slimes has enemies, namely the area-locked feral slimes and the voracious tar slimes. You still run into feral slimes in relax mode, but they're restricted to only spawning in specific areas of the map and can be pacified using food. Tar, on the other hand, spawn whenever a Largo, aka a mix between two slimes, eats a plort unlike its own. And I was irrationally terrified of Tar when I first played the game. The first time I encountered one, I was hanging out in the early dry reef area when this ominous music started playing out of nowhere. I was super confused at first, but I assumed the OSD had just changed tracks. Boy, was I wrong, because not a second later, a tar slime dropped straight onto my head, munching away a large chunk of my health and startling me out of my chair. I then proceeded to hop back on, run for my ranch, quit the game, and not play for a month. When I did start playing again, I rarely, if ever, left the ranch, and as a result, made basically no progress. As you can imagine, once the Relax Mode update came out, I started playing in earnest again. Hey! Do you want me to stop sounding like a radio host from the 1930s? Well, I just set up my rewards over on Patreon. If I get enough people checking it out, I might be able to afford a new microphone, among other things that will improve my video quality as a whole. Those who subscribe to my Patreon gain access to things like work-in-progress art pieces and animations, practice animations, character designs, finished artworks I won't share anywhere else, among other things. And there's even more that'll be coming to my Patreon in the near future. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Outside of my tar slime panic, I am obsessive about organization on my ranch. To the point where I would physically write down how many ranch slots the ranch had and where, how many slimes there was in the game and what they ate, what Largo combinations would be best, which slots they would go into, where all of my storage would be, and, once drones were added to the game, where everything needed to go to automate to the point I didn't need to do anything. I had portals leading to every major area of the map and back, maxed out drills, pumps, and aviaries behind every single one, exactly six slimes in every corral so that the auto feeder would dispense just the right amount of food, one of every unused food item in storage, split drone commands so I would automatically sell half of my floors with the other half going to slime science, and I don't even know why I care so much because all that level of organization does is leave me with literally nothing to do but play basketball using a pink slime as the ball. I got filthy rich, but there was nothing else to spend the money on. And then Slime Rancher 2 came out! But that's the subject of a different video. For now, I want to focus on the first Slime Rancher and how it emotionally wrecked me. Spoilers ahead, by the way, for the story of the game. You have been warned. So, if you're unfamiliar, the story of Slime Rancher is told through letters sent to you by your left-behind Earth friend Casey, and notes you find throughout the wild areas of the game left by a man named Hobson the previous owner of the ranch. As you explore the world of the Far Far Range, you come across holographic notes from the previous ranch owner that talks about his experiences within the place you found the note. Sometimes there are helpful hints about the area, but most of the time it's Hobson talking about falling in love with another rancher he only calls She. At the very end of the last biome, the Glass Desert, you find two last notes. The first is in front of a broken ancient portal, and it talks about Hobson packing all of his things, ready to step into the portal and be off on a new adventure. But behind the portal, you find the last note. In it, Hobson tells the reader that he couldn't bear to leave, and that he is instead moving to his love's ranch, now revealed to be Thora, a rancher you've met in the game already, and he wishes the best for the reader. Now, this is wholesome and all, but not too long after, you get the final letter from Casey. He announces he's leaving to perform in a music tour, and the wording of the letter implies there won't be any more letters after this one. Once you close the letter, the game cuts to the end credits, the song that's played during them is supposed to be sung by Casey himself, and it's all bittersweet and cheesy. And I know a lot of people just thought this was cute and nothing more, but it reduced me to a puddle of tears in front of my computer. I don't know why, but it just got to me, man.
That's about all I have to say about Slime Rancher. I know the video was a bit all over the place. I'll get better at that, I promise. You may have also noticed that the animation style was a bit different from last time. I'm still trying to find a style that's easier for me and still looks good. So until then, the style will keep shifting a bit. On a different note, starting next week, I'm going to be streaming random games and such every Thursday at 9am Mountain Daylight Time or Mountain Standard Time. I don't know, daylight savings weird. But I'm going to put up a poll on my channel when this video is uploaded as to whether or not you guys want me streaming on Twitch or here on YouTube. So go and do that. VODs from those streams will be put up on my second channel, if applicable, so go, vote, be free, have a fire rest of your day, and bye bye